Hi guys, welcome to another video. We've had a few questions on our floats. We make three different types. Just how are they made? These are rotor molded. For those of you in the know, it's fairly simple. We have a mold, the material gets put inside and it rolls. So first off, we need to draw it in our CAD program and then make various models to test and then the mold is made from that. At the factory, they clamp the mold into a large machine that rotates in two planes. So the mold will be rotating in two directions, in this way and in that plane. What that does is it allows the powdered plastic to coat the inside in all zones. There are zones you need it to be thicker than others. You can preheat those zones in the mold and it tends to attract more plastic. So you can tweak the wall thickness. The overall wall thickness is directly proportionate to the volume of plastic you put inside. It gets hot, melts, coats everything. It then gets allowed to cool while it's still rotating so it doesn't pull to one side. Once it's cooled sufficiently, there's about a two to 3% shrinkage so the product actually pulls off the walls, making it very easy to release. For obvious reasons, this is a very large machine. It gets very warm, costs a lot to make that much heat. So our mold is mounted along with many other molds, all having similar sizes and similar cycles in terms of how much it needs to rotate and how long it needs to melt the product. Of the three molds, this is our smallest, comes with a flag. The same flag can attach to the floats as well. We do sometimes foam inject these to change the shape slightly to allow us to put a weight on the bottom and have a flag. So the flag comes in three options. We like the orange high-vis color. We also have the alpha flag and the one with the line through it, that's the diver down flag. Different countries have different regulations, so we make three different options. So there you have it, simple explanation how this type of molding is done. Please look at our previous video on how the design was actually developed in terms of its shape. Quite interesting how different shapes react differently on the surface of the water. Hope you enjoyed that video, stand by for the next.